Hi and welcome, Leo Rose Burnett here. Mind Body Soul Balance, this is your March 2020 forecast. Now it is a brand new style of tarot reading, it's an extended version and uh, you may have seen the announcement come out of my channel that I'm consolidating a lot of the smaller tarot readings into a big monthly one for you so it's like receiving a personal reading from me every month and uh, it's going to include all aspects of self including uh, your predictions for March and uh, as well as we have a look at your abundance flow, love and romance. We dive deep into general energies as well as uh, pull some crowning energies for higher guidance. And uh, if you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get notified of the videos coming out from me. And uh, if you regularly follow my channel and you're not subscribed, uh, part of the announcement was that YouTube have changed some of their algorithms. So uh, it's personalized very much to your interests and your feed and you may not be getting all of my videos through. So best idea is to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you make sure you get this monthly extended one to your feed every month, yeah? All right, let's get started with your reading. Oh, one other thing I'll mention is that going forward, the top three videos to get the highest views, the highest numbers of likes is gonna come out first on my channel every month. Alrighty, got lots of beautiful crystals on every deck to amp things up. I'm going to open up your reading, Leo, with the Enchanted Map Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. And as always, it's a general reading, so trust what resonates, leave what does not. Mm. You've got Spark, which is so beautiful. She's got lots of love hearts flying off a violin that she's playing. Kind of speaks to your energy. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Leo, you are a divine and clear channel for creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea to start a new relationship, a job, or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn into a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. Which basically means it's the perfect time to start anything new in March. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at your predictions for March 2020 with the uh, Angel Tarot. See what's coming towards you, Leo. Nice little guys at this time. Mm. You've got the Nine of Air, and if you have a look at this, there's one horse sitting bolt upright while all the other horses are asleep. Mm -hmm. Expecting the worst sleepless nights, self-fulfilling prophecies, which means a bit of worry and anxiety going on. Mm. You got the message from Spirit Six of Air: is that things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation. Yeah, that those hard times are nearly over or coming to be over in March. Yeah, um, it can also mean that you may be embarking on a trip, a, a holiday. Um, mm -hmm. Often it's just the way we're looking at a situation or feeling about it. Mm. You got the King of Fire, which is all about focusing on what you want, stepping up in more of a leadership role in your life, yeah, communicating clearly, um, possibly taking advice from someone creative to help you on your path. Mm, this wants to fly out. Mm. You got the aid of earth and it's being recognized for your high quality work, being a great team player. Yeah, um, your skilled work is going to be rewarded. Can possibly mean that you may want to go back and study something new, go in a different direction, possibly upskill what you're doing. Yeah, there's a lot to say that there's uh, 
that you want to go in a new direction or you're feeling like that. You've got the eight of water. If you have a look at her, she's got a face turned forward and a back to all the cups, right? A desire to move on and do something more challenging. It can also lead to more emotional and spiritual growth as well. All over your reading, Leo. You've also got the Queen of Earth, which is about making time for those around you, yeah? Um, particularly if there's any challenging circumstances going on. It's being kind and thoughtful, compassionate. Uh, responding versus reacting. All right, let's have a look at your abundance flow with the Abundance Angel Oracle. See if there's anything holding you back from your abundance. Hmm. Yeah, the message to put away some savings for self, yeah, just to give you a sense of security, stability, particularly if you want to run with your ideas, yeah, to support your life purpose. Um, and sitting directly under um, sleepless nights and worrying about things. So it could give you a buffer, yeah, that's going to relieve that anxiety. Hmm. Definitely a need for you to um, step more into your positivity, have faith and optimism that the hard times are over that abundance is coming to you, um, mm -hmm. sitting right under things are looking up. Basically, keep the faith and keep going. Don't stop. Mm. And there's also unlimited ideas available to you, options available to you to create abundance in your life. Yeah. Um, whenever you're in a blockage, particularly if it's a mental or emotional blockage, it's something you're putting around yourself. All right, we're going to have a look at love and romance with the Romance Angel Oracle. See what's coming towards you um, in terms of love. It can be for, It's going to be for singles and couples. Mm. You've got forgiving and learning here as you heal and release from the past. You experience more love in the present moment. Um, particularly for those of you that are single, gone through a breakup. Um, it's about releasing that from yourself so you can move forward. If you're coupled up and in a relationship and you're holding things from the past still that are preventing you from totally opening up to love 100%, uh, time to face those and release them. Mm. You've also got the message to let your friends help you lean on your friendships at this time, uh, whether coupled up or single. Um, singles is about getting out there with your friends. Mm. And clearly decide what it is so it comes to you soon. Just get very clear about the type of partner you want, the type of relationship you want, so you can put those vibrations out to the universe and draw that partnership to you. And if you're in a relationship, you've got the message to give your relationship a chance and work on that partnership, particularly if there's any challenges going on. It's always a two-way street, yeah? Right with it came having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discussing your feelings with each other so you can clear the air. Mm -hmm. You're ambiguous about a, about a relationship or a situation. You don't know where you stand. Have those difficult conversations. Uh, you've also got the attraction card, which is about being present, going with the moment, going with the flow. Don't put too many expectations on things. Just enjoy it, yeah? All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle, particularly about love. It can also be about your career. What is it Leo needs to know at this time? Mm. You've got within the next few weeks, which is a bit of a timeline, um, in terms of your reading, it can be directly related to changes coming in around your employment status, offers coming in, um, possibly you deciding that you want to do something different. For those of you that are single, the opportunity of love coming in within the next few weeks. Mm, key message you've got is just to trust at this time, particularly those of you who are having sleepless nights, yeah? Things are looking up. They are going to shift forward. Mm. 
Yeah, the message in terms of uh, decisions in love partners, what you want is to trust your intuition, what's best for you, what do you want, yeah? Mm. And you've got let go. It's directly related to those of you working on your partnership that need to work on it, yeah? Let go of anything holding you back, let go of resentment, yeah, let go of issues and problems and just feel the love in the relationship. There's two here. Mm. There's absolutely an opportunity, available of an opportunity coming in, related to your finances, related to your coin, your career. Um, and there's some forgiveness that can, needs to be applied in relationships, particularly those coupled up. Um either with self or with the other person. All right, we're going to clear these away and dive into your general energy. So we're going to pull you a central energy from the Precious Gems Oracle. Now let's see what you need to know, Leo. All mm. You've got Ruby, self-actualization. How beautiful is this card? So strong and confident. Actually has a very beautiful message. Mm -hmm. it says Leo, knock three times for Ruby Red and know who you are. Over the threshold, beyond the frame, know who you might become. The journey between who you are and all that you might be is grand indeed. It is your adventure, so live it. Mm -hmm. um, it relates to the root and the heart chakra, root being your sense of security, your material needs, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, it relates to your star sign as well. And the element of earth. Ruby is known as the queen of gems and is said to contain an inextinguishable fire. It is a stone of leadership and awakens you to a sense of adventure, increases your chi or life force energy. And uh, as a healing stone can help with intimacy and the release of suppressed anger. And uh, it's very fortunate to pull this card because it can help you transform your thought into physical creativity and certainty, yeah? which means bringing things into form. And uh, the divine meaning is to choose who you want to be, yeah? Uh, work on yourself, nurture, polish, and strengthen the qualities you admire in yourself. And there's an affirmation here that says, I am fully energized. My sense of adventure is awakened. I am strong and focused. My dreams will be actualized. Wow, it's that getting things done energy, yeah? To um, not only plan things, dream about them, but bring them into form. Which means it's a very action orientated month for you, Leo. All right, in terms of your general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Nature's Whispers the Oracle. It can be challenges, opportunities coming your way, things of self to work on. What is it Leo needs to know at this time? Hmm. You got the message to practice the art of gratitude and appreciation for what's working you well in your life, which means stop putting pressure on yourself for things that aren't in your life materialistically right now. Um, appreciating how far you've come on your journey, the things that are working well in your life. There's two here. Mm. You've got show your support to others. There's a little fairy sitting on a fingertips here. To those people that mean the most to you, can also speak to your intimate relationships, those of you coupled up. And you've also got the message to take a leap of faith on your goals, your dreams, the things you want to create, bring into your life. Which means taking risks and getting out of your comfort zone. What else does Leo need to know? Highest level guidance. Mm, wow. On the other side, you've got infinite blessings trying to come into your life. Definitely pretends to where it's been challenging and difficult, particularly around your money, um, your career path, things are looking up, yeah? 
All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's start, we're looking at the top row about gratitude and appreciation. Two here. Mm -hmm. You got your heart chakra here, which is trusting your heart to guide you. Um, some of you may need to do a little bit of heart healing. Uh, you've also got your crown chakra here, which is your higher states of consciousness, being in your higher states of consciousness versus your lower states, which is your anxiety and your worry, your emotions, yeah? Your crown chakra is your connection to the divine, your spirit guides, um, universal source energy. Uh, there's a gorgeous guy here holding his heart in his hands. Can be your lover, can be your partner, can be a love interest coming in. Guys, it can be you ready for love, looking for love. Let's pull you one more. If you're in a same-sex relationship, read that as you will. Mm. You got the message to trust your intuition to guide you, yeah, particularly in um, choices in love. All right, let's have a look at show your support. Mm. Some of you about are feeling a little bit tied up. In the context of this, this is about you extending yourself, particularly in terms of love and support to those that need you in your life, yeah. Some of you are holding that love back. Mm. You've got the daughter personal healing and happiness that wants to open for you. You need to release yourself, Leo, if you're holding yourself stuck and tied up. Directly related to man holding a heart. Um, so those of you looking for love, if you're holding yourself back from it, the universe and spirit is saying it's available to you. All you've got to do is open the door. Mm-hmm. Let it in. Mm. You've also got the door to value wanting to open. So if you're holding yourself back from career changes, going back to study, money's going to fly through the door. Uh, you've got to trust your intuition on that. Wow, it's come out hand in hand with cornucopia. Spirit is saying, if you're holding yourself stuck, everything's available to you. It's the way you're looking at it, thinking about it. Um, you need to get into your higher chakras and trust. Yeah, trust. We've got a storm brewing here at the moment. Um, you might just close the door so you can hear me. It's better. All right, we're going to have a look at leap of faith. Mm, yeah. Here's your heart chakra right here. For those of you that have had a broken heart in the past, not going to apply to everyone, it's still affecting you. Universe, spirit is saying just to take a leap of faith on love again, yeah? Um, directly in line with your heart chakra. So if you want love, yeah, not everybody does. Not everybody's ready. Um, also, I need to take some rest and rejuvenation. If you're experiencing issues around your heart chakra, feeling tied up and stuck, um, it's going to help you get into your higher states of consciousness. Mm, wow, so many doors want to open for you. You got the door to spirit opening for you as well. Mm -hmm. It's directly related to the door to personal healing and happiness, connecting into your higher states of consciousness. Wow, it's also come out with a temple path. Which means there's lots of beautiful orbs of light here. Spirit is around you. They're going to be guiding you, sending you signals, differences in light quotient to let them know, let you know they're with you, um, protecting you, watching over you. All right, let's have a look at your infinite blessings. Mm, wow. Same message, different deck, practicing the art of gratitude and appreciation, being present, not living in the past, not recycling through old stuff. Mm. You've also got your chi energy here, your life force energy. Um, particular focus in March, Leo, is to build up your vitality. Pay attention to what you're consuming in terms of nutrition. Get out and exercise, get out in nature. Um, if you've been ill and it's been affecting your energy levels, it's a portent to your health improving. We always co-create that. Mm. And... Rely on your strength at this time. Yeah, keep the faith and keep going. 
All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. Have a look at the top row. It's about being grateful and appreciative. Your heart chakra, your crown chakra. Man holding a heart. So this flew out. Some of you have got divine healing powers. Yeah, Ishul Medicine Woman, guy or girl. Um, speaks to energy healing. Um, speaks to natural therapies. Pulling universe, universal source energy in which means you can connect, can connect into it. Mm. There's absolutely a need for detoxification, purification, yeah? Your emotions, your mindset, your health, your well-being, your body. All right, let's have a look at show your support, feeling a little bit tied up. All the doors that want to open for you. Mm. Yeah, it's directly related to your coin. Your cornucopia. Yeah, you've got sudden infinite supply. It's divine protection. Your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrow, so stop worrying. Your nurse is saying stop worrying. <laughs> mm, wow. Hand in hand with Artemis, guardian angel watching over you and your loved ones. You're divinely protected at this time. All right, let's have a look at your leap of faith, your, your heart. Taking some time out to rest. Mm. So much reassurance here, yeah. You've got Lakshmi, bright future, stop worrying, everything's going to be fine. It's almost like your spirit guides, your angels, have just given you a big cosmic hug right now. Your hate or receptivity, allow yourself to receive. Stop giving so much, Leo. Expect to be able to receive from the universe, particularly your abundance and love, but mostly your abundance. All right, let's have a look at your infinite blessings, your strength, your vitality. Mm. You've got nematoma sacred space, which is about connecting into your, your spirit guides, the angelic realm, your higher states of consciousness. Meditation, yoga, getting out in nature, a place that you find that's spiritual for you and doing your spiritual practices, yeah. And be creating one at home. Mm. And if there's anything you're dealing with in terms of the legal system right now, it's going to be handled in a fair and just manner, yeah. May yet. Particularly if that's something you're worrying about. All right, let's put you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Have a look at this top row, all about being grateful, your heart chakra. Mm, yeah. There's absolutely a need for you to step into your empowerment, your personal power, your strength, get out of your emotions um, and get your feet on Mother Earth, yeah, to balance and ground your energies. Uh, let's have a look at show your support, feeling tied up, all the doors that want to open for you, all the divine protection. Um, you've got Amazonite life purpose. You're absolutely going to get more clarity about your path, particularly those that want to do something more challenging. And you're hand in hand with Tanzanite, clarity. Uh-huh. You're going to get insight about that. All right, let's have a look at your leap of faith, all the connectedness to spirit. All right, three here. You got uh, fairy stone fertility, meaning it's a perfect time to kick off any ideas and projects. They'll be blessed at this time. Third message to be grateful and appreciative, which is all about getting out of scarcity consciousness. And uh, confirmation that you have ancient wisdom within you. It's going to come back to you. A bit of a download can be past life information coming back to you. Um, it's going to help you with your path. All right, let's have a look at your infinite blessings, your uh, chi energy, your strength, fairness, and justice. Mm, wow. Spirit is saying to have patience at this time. You are absolutely divinely protected, yeah? Um, there is a clear message for those of you going through anything legal and challenging, even if particularly if it's a divorce settlement, right? You're going to be fine. Um, you just need to be patient yeah, and just wait. On the bottom, you've got communication. So there will be a communication coming in for you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, 
Messenger Oracle. What is it Leo needs to know? Mm, yeah. You need to focus and then act, which means don't get distracted by your emotions. Don't get distracted by external situations going on. Um, you keep on your path. Mm -hmm. Keep moving forward. Mm. You also got a message to also take that time out to reflect and pause, um, rest, rejuvenation, appreciate how far you've come, the challenges you've overcome, how amazing you are. Mm. And release those burdens, release the emotions. Don't hold on to them, Leo. Let them go. Going to pull your crowning energy from the Sacred Rebels Oracle, which is all about living in the present. Highest level guidance for Leo at this time. Mm, beautiful. Perfect, perfect message. And if this is the first time you've watched one of my readings, the crowning uh, energy brings the whole thing together. Yeah, faith in the process. Dare I say she's got little birds sitting on her back, which often reminds me of the cows you see in the field with the little birds sitting on their back. And uh, let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Leo, no matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we cannot quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. When we're at the edge of our own limits and we have no more personal resources, we might be left with only one spiritual power, that of faith. And fortunately, that's enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often far more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. This is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift and bend and move in ways that defy limitation, it can affect, evoke and influence situations through invisible but undeniably persuasive means. You're in a situation where you cannot set right the course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong nor does it suggest that you are not strong enough. It's a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life and your willpower will be supplemented by the power of life itself. Sometimes a bigger plan needs to unfold for the benefit of humanity and the earth. You need to shift your perspective to realize that you are part of the greater unfoldment of life, that your individual life serves the greater plan and that you are not separate from its genius. This is what's happening now and you happen to be instrumental in the greater plan and as such you need to accept your position and be moved while also being empowered and protected as you make personal progress through your role in the grander scheme. So much divine protection and assistance, Leo. This is a time for humility and trust. You need complete faith in the process and events that are happening. There is nothing to worry about. You will be moved more fully and easily and with the most grace and assistance through your faithful surrender. And ironically, it's through complete surrender in total faith that we become more empowered. When we're no longer trying to impede the perfection of the greater plan, we can be aligned and moved by the process. And having faith in the benevolence of life, rather than harboring a suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out, have a joke at our expense, or carelessly toss us about as though we mean nothing, we can relax a little. Having faith in the process gives you space to be curious about what's taking place and to relax enough to be open to what we're in most need of, even if we aren't exactly sure what that is or how it can happen. The guidance from this oracle comes direct from the greater source of life itself. There is now an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you're currently in to the next chapter of your life story. And you can't do it on your own. It is too big a shift and it needs the grace of life to intervene on your behalf. 
you will need faith though. You may feel as though the wheels of your trolley are coming off or they're a little bit rickety. And you must also understand that the voice of life is now coming straight to your heart with this message. I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and in my wisdom, for I love you and I'm guiding you into all that is rightfully yours. And know that what right and know that what is rightfully yours is what your heart truly desires and you need not fear loss. Nothing that's meant to come to you will be denied and it's safe for you to let go and allow me to move you. Through faith, peace is restored and you're able to know this and perhaps have some fun in the process. And uh, there's a healing ritual here. It says, say aloud, just listen, yeah? It says, I now ask for all disappointing experiences of the past that have led me to believe that life is not trustworthy or that faith is a silly an immature way to deal with life, be released from my mind, my body and my heart. I ask for help to accept that I can and will attract all that's needed in my life at the perfect time and in the perfect way. I ask to be empowered to absolutely receive all that can assist me with gratitude and without shame or guilt. In doing so, I dedicate myself to be a clear, loving, open channel for the flow of life. I know the benefit in doing so was not limited to me, but will flow so that life can benefit others through me. I trust in this now through unconditional love, so be it. You have completed your healing process. It does say if you need to come back and do this again, yeah? Um, so that you can feel more in control. Beautiful. So much divine protection, Leo, in March, so much. Trust and have faith in the process. Mm -hmm. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure you get the extended monthly readings into your feed on your uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, I do read all the comments. I do respond. Might take me a little while, so just be patient. Take care of yourself. Be gentle. Um, be kind and loving to those you love. Mm -hmm. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.